this study makes two big contributions. On the one hand, it really shows that these uh, smartphone mindfulness programs, in our case it was a 14-day program, can be powerful for, um, for stress reduction. And uh, we knew little, very little about how these smartphone programs might have stress reduction benefits. So we're providing some initial evidence here that um, the smartphone programs may be powerful for, for stress reduction. The second big contribution is that we're starting to reveal um, how mindfulness programs may have stress reduction benefits. In our particular study, we really dismantled um, uh, mindfulness programs into their what we thought might be their active components. And what we're showing is that this acceptance training component of mindfulness programs, so learning how to be open and accepting toward your experience, may be a real powerful vehicle or mechanism for these stress reduction effects. You really need that acceptance training to see stress reduction benefits. In this particular study, we recruited uh, 153 community adults. These are folks that uh, come from all walks of life, and uh, critically, we randomly assign them, uh, essentially sort of like flipping a, uh, a three-sided coin, um, to one of three programs. Uh, each of these programs were 14 days long, um, and we gave them, essentially, it was a smartphone program that they got to download, and then they got to do about 20 minutes a day of practice. Uh, in one program, they were learning um, full-blown mindfulness training as we normally teach it. So it had all sorts of training and how to train your attention to be really present. Um, but then what we did was we, we created a mindfulness program that stripped out all of the acceptance um, language and training. So you were only getting this uh, uh, training in how to really attend to or monitor your present moment experience. But we didn't give them any additional acceptance training like you normally get in mindfulness programs. And then finally, like most um, good uh, trials, we included a, a control condition. In this case, it was a very um, powerful coping program that taught people how to cope with stress. Um, we called it My Time, so it gave people an opportunity to sort of think and problem solve about how they were dealing with stressors. Um, my lab broadly is really interested in understanding um, stress and resilience. You know, what is it uh, about uh, resilient individuals that uh, that sort of changes people's brains and changes their stress physiology and stress related so um, we really study resilience broadly speaking and one of the things that we study are mindfulness programs because people really tout them as being powerful stress reduction programs and so we sort of use this as a model for studying uh, resilience.